How to swap bearings on an electric unicycle is what I'm going to tell you on this video. I'm going to teach you because in the end of the day, it's a very difficult process that you have to pass through and maybe it's not for you and maybe you'll need some help like it happens to me but i'm going to show you a little bit closer the 9 bots 10 fully disassembled and you are going to be able to understand why it's so hard to swap the bearings on your motor so if you want to know everything about this stay tuned until the end of the video so first of all when we talk about the 9 bots 10 is one of the wheels that is basically overproduced when we look to this paper this is four type of screws that you have on your 9 body 10 and after disassembling and assembling once again i can tell you that they could have done this in a much easier way so if you want to know a little bit better you have 15 screws of 15 millimeters long and 5 millimeters diameter five screws of 20 millimeters long and 5 millimeters diameter 33 screws of 15 millimeters long and 4 millimeters diameter and you have 24 screws of 10 millimeters long and 4 millimeters diameter and that gives us a total of 82 screws just to reach your motor just to for example even swap a tire so it's not an easy process and it takes a long long time and i'm not counting the screws that they are on the cover of the motor when we talk about electric unicycles majority of them you just have one of the sides of the motor that you can open and that becomes a problem first of all it's really really hard when you arrive there because inside your motor you have like magnets all around and i'm going to show you some videos for sure just to take out that top part of the motor is really really hard because the magnets they are so so strong that that part doesn't want to open and to open i basically damage a bit the access so just to be completely honest with you guys i recommend you to search someone that can really really help you when you try to open your motor you have the cables coming from the top so even that is a specific tool that you have like three legs that you could attach to that part and slowly lift the top of the motor but in this case it's impossible because you have those cables coming through it was basically impossible to do it you needed a specific tool to disattach the top part where you have the cables passing with the cables on the middle after when you open is really i have to say is basically impossible to remove the motor by yourself i tried everything i put all my weight on top of the motor to try to push it out but it was not coming out so that's why i had to try to find a friend of mine that have a car garage and he helped me to solve this i didn't want to bother him with this so i tried to find another garage that they could do this for me all of them they said no it's not a car it's not a motorbike we are not going to do anything so you are also going to have this type of issue when we remove that motor we didn't notice something that in the end if i want to basically take this sound out i will have to disassemble once again fully the 9 bot c10 when you take the top part of your motor it's okay you have there the bearing and you need to basically push it out after to put it back you need like a special tool that you have to be bigger than your bearing so when you just use the hammer to put it back it's not going to damage your bearing so just to point it out to reach the other bearing that is on beneath you need to remove that motor that is super strong because of the magnets obviously in factories they have like other magnets they basically dismagnetize those magnets to remove the motor but in this case you don't have that so you have to do it in the old fashion way when is to put it back the motor and that is when the things went wrong on the middle you have like all the cables connected to to the motor and one of these cable tires it basically broke and we didn't notice and uh, i just noticed after seeing once again the footage this happened and you can see by the sound that the motor is doing at the moment <laughs> can you hear it works and is not a problem that is just a cable that is there and basically is hitting the metal every single time that the wheel is basically going around when you need to close back also besides to look to those cable tires if they break in the moment that you are just put it inside once again be really really careful with your fingers because the magnets they are so strong that they just find their way to go in once again you put obviously your new bearings the bearings are rs bearings rs is for rubber sealing bearings okay it's so just to point it out i can say that after you need to put some sealing 
on the top part so the water will not go inside once again besides that when this is done everything is done okay but it's really really hard it's not like uh, changing your motherboard obviously changing your motherboard in the 9 bot 10 is not an easy task it also is not a king song and you purchase from china and then after it's locked because you have a p so just be aware of that also if you are still here i recommend you to check another video where i compare the 9 bot 10 with the emotion v11 and why i feel that they have so much things in common if it's your first time here my name is marco this is Matt Peck. if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and i hope to see you in the next one